Hey everyone, Oak Norton here with Scripture Notes. I am using build 0.91 of our mobile app as we rapidly move toward the final 1.0. Well, I shouldn't say final, but 1.0 is coming. I'm excited to show you some of the new features that we've added, and there's been numerous little bug fixes as well. So let's get started. In this particular tutorial, I want to first go to the search screen. So I'm going to touch the search button there. And you can see here, I've got my search history. And just to simplify things, I've already done this search. And I'm going to uh, touch this first one, which is the word tree with an asterisk and righteousness. So this particular search has pulled up four verses across uh, the scriptures and uh, other content that I have in the library, Book of Enoch actually down here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a look at this verse in Isaiah 61.3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. I've always kind of liked this verse, uh, mostly because of that part in yellow, you know. So anyway, uh, the first thing I would do, let's say, just for example, this could be done with any verse in the Bible. I'm going to touch the link button to the right, and maybe I want to see a different translation of this verse. So I'm going to go out here to Bible Hub, and on Bible Hub, there are 29 different translations of the Bible. So you can go down through here and see some of the different translations that exist in other uh, Bible versions. And, you know, just glancing at this, you can you can see that uh, phrase here on some of these is they will be called oaks of righteousness. That's an even better translation. Just saying. So from here, uh, there's a com button up here at the top that you can see. That's for commentary. Bible Hub has... Uh, I don't know, quite a few commentaries that are available for this, uh, for the Bible. And so you can come down through here and look at some of those parallel commentaries. If I touch this parallel commentary button, that will take me to look at all those different commentaries you could study and get uh, some insight from scholars who have put a lot of time and effort into understanding the Bible. So at this point, I'm going to go back to Scripture Notes, and I'm going to close the Outside Links button here, and I want to open up Isaiah 61.3 to the reading chapter. So Isaiah 61 comes up, and I'm going to go to the R button now. This is one of our new features. So next to chapters that have an R, you can touch that R, and up come these chapter resources. And there's two things that I want to show you here. One, since we're in Isaiah, I'm going to go to the Isaiah Institute. I'm going to open that resource up. These links already exist in our web app, but this is new to the mobile app. So now you can see that there's two of those four links that are in blue. The first link for audio and the third link looking like a pencil is for like show notes and other links. So I'm going to touch that pencil and go to the Isaiah Explained website. This is a project from the Hebraeus Foundation. And out here, I could go down through these Isaiah verses. I'm going to scroll down here to verse 3, which I'll zoom in on right there. I also note, they shall be called Oaks of Righteousness, is in the official uh, translation here. So uh, from here, you can read the commentary. You could copy-paste some of this back into your notes. But this is a powerful resource for you to just study Isaiah from. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to Scripture Notes. I'm going to close. Actually, I'm not going to close these resources. I want to show you the next cool thing you can do. So I'll just open up one of these uh, other Come Follow Me podcasts. And now I've got a video link on this one. So I'm going to touch that video button. Hi, I'm going to, uh, skip. Hi everybody. I'm David Butler. I'm going to pause that for a sec. Now, here is the... Come Follow Me podcast that I clicked on. Now, if I switch back to Scripture Notes right now, nothing will happen. It'll just be on a different pane. So what I have to do is I have to hit play and then switch back while it's playing and watch what happens. Now, 
I have a small window on my screen here that I can move around and watch and listen to the podcast and control the play while I'm in the scriptures. So I'm going to close my chapter resources here. I could put this little window anywhere and I'll touch it again. I could hit play. Video. I'm going to pause that. And now I can go right through the scriptures while I'm listening to whatever favorite Come Follow Me podcast you like. And we've got a number of them on there, as you saw. So that is another cool feature that you can uh, use in scripture notes. And it will just stay there until I close it. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'll touch it again and hit the X in the top right corner. Now, the last cool new feature I want to show you is in the Create Collection Note button. Well, on the collection notes screen, sorry. So on this screen, you've seen this before. It's a, a split screen where you've got your master note at the top and the ability to title, tag, and categorize the collection note. And down at the bottom, you've got your verses that you can scroll through. Well, somebody requested a feature and I thought that would be an awesome thing to do. So we've done it. If I touch the split button at the top left, we now have three different views. This split view, then we have a verse view, which is just verses, and now we have a note view, which is a full screen for your note. So maybe you're giving a talk at church and you've got a big long uh, note here that you are, it's your talk. And so now you can scroll through that full screen and not have the split view, which is kind of a tiny window to try and do that from. So if you're teaching a lesson or giving a talk, now you can view it full screen. So that's that's the end of this tutorial to kind of give you a look at some of the other features and how to use them. And uh, what's coming next for the app when we uh, get to version 1.0 is highlighting. And so you can see the colorful markup there on Isaiah 61.3. So that highlighting is coming along with uh, being able to select a word and uh, go out to the Webster's 1828 Dictionary. That will be in version 1.0 yet to come. So if you uh, like this video, share it with others. Let them see what Scripture Notes can do and uh, help spread the word. I'd really appreciate that. And if you have any questions or a suggestion, feel free to shoot me an email. I'd love to hear it and consider you know, putting it in the app because this is really being built for you to have more power at your fingertips to study the scriptures with. So please uh, like and share, and I will see you next time.